One of the things we haven't touched on is the very international nature of this. I mean, this is not the NSA or nobody. I mean, there are lots of countries are looking for vulnerabilities. And the government of China is doing the same thing. Uh, there are cyber weapons arms manufacturers. Uh, one is called Hacking Team out of Italy that sells software to break into systems with vulnerabilities like these to governments like Ethiopia, Kazakhstan, governments you actually don't want breaking into the, secu the communications of their citizens. So as we look at these vulnerabilities, find them, fix them, we're not just making security better for us, we're making security better for a lot of people in the world that need security to stay alive, to stay out of jail. And the international nature of this makes it very subtle. You'll hear a lot of arguments that we have to hoard vulnerabilities because if we don't, China will and China will win. Right? That's a very zero-sum game arms race argument. Right? But, but it fails to recognize that every vulnerability we allow to remain is a potential chink in our armor. And as long as we are a highly connected, highly computerized, highly internet enabled society, we are fundamentally at greater risk than the government of China is, or the government of Ethiopia is, or North Korea. That defense is really much more important, not just in general, but to us specifically, because of this very international nature.